Hi guys, my name is Ishan Akbar. Uh, this is my YouTube channel and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, in my last video on Microsoft Excel, I uh, told you that how can we check the status of a student, either he has passed or failed. So I applied a formula to check. I arranged the number or obtained marks of the students in column A and the total marks of the students in column B. Then I determined the percentage of the students in column C and then I applied the formula for the status of the students in column D. You can see my video. I will put a link to this video uh, in the description. So now we are going to study or we, we are going to learn in this video that how can we draw a circle or a semicircle using various types of data in Microsoft Excel. So first of all, you only need to know two things for any circle. You only need to know two things for any circle. The first thing is the radius of the circle. Radius of circle. And the next thing is the center of circle. These are two things that you will need to know before drawing any semicircle or a circle. Suppose the radius of the circle is 50 and the center of circle is uh, 75 from the origin. So from origin or from center of the circle, the radius is 50 units. Uh, suppose I call it as meters and from origin, the center of circle is at 75 meters. So simply we can uh, we have to arrange three columns. First, columns will, uh, first column will be known as the angle and degrees. Second column will be, so simply write here as angle. Second column will be the x coordinate in meters because our units are in meters. And the next column will be y coordinate in meters. So simply, if you want, there is only one difference in making the semicircle and a full circle, a whole circle is the difference of angle range. So simply you will put here as 0, 5, 10. You can add uh, these angles with the difference, uh, with a constant difference of any numbers. So uh, I am writing or I am following the difference of 5 degrees. So here I have written 5, then a 0, then 5 and 10, and then 15 and so on. If I want to draw a semicircle, then I will move this angle towards 180 degrees because semicircle covers 180 degrees. So simply I will stop at 180 degree. This is 180 degree. You can show, uh, you can see the 180 degree here. When I will drag this down, it will show here 180 degree. Simply if you want to uh, draw the whole circle, then you will drag it towards 360 degrees. So here it comes uh, to the 360 so i will stop here this is 360. So simply what will we do here here our task is to determine the coordinates of the circle either it is circle or semicircle so simply here x and y the procedure for obtaining x and y is similar so now i have to apply the formula the formula is very simple you will put the equal sign to activate the uh, formula you will click this tab of radius value. Now simply you will go to this one dollar dollar. This dollar sign means that we have six fixed the value of R for all these cells. Same we will do here. Now you will multiply this uh, radius with cos sine of theta and it will read the values in radians and you will adopt a value from here from B column. Now you will close the column and you will put OK. Now you will drag down or press on this button. It will calculate all the values like this. You can see here the value of radius, value of x coordinate is 50 till the end of the circle. Now the time is to calculate the y coordinate of the circle uh, points, uh, different points of the circle. So simply we will put the equal sign to active, activate the function. 
now we will write again choose we will choose the radius and we will put dollar sign to fix its value then multiply with the sign of radians this angle and you will click ok enter and this enter after pressing the enter you will see a simple difference between those these both values you can see here the values of x are positive till this value till 90 degree now the values have become minus negative so uh, the, uh, i will uh, let you know the effect of this negative value in uh, in our drawing or in our graph or in our circle so let here and go to the scatter and choose the smooth lines and curve line don't choose the straight lines you have to choose the curve lines you will click here you will go to the select data option you will double click this area and it will show here the select data you will click here add and now you have to read uh, write the series name i will write it as whole circle so here the x values are the x coordinates i will i will select only this one then i will press shift and control and arrow down this will select all the values relevant to 360 degrees you can see here it has selected all the values of x now we have to select the value for y you will drag up and now you will select the first value then press shift control and arrow down it will select all the values of y and you will press ok and here you will press ok and you can see here we have obtained a circle and we can confirm one thing from the circle uh, you can change its symmetry to see it as a uh, proper circle so you can see here that we have selected the radius of the circle to be 50 and now come uh, to one thing that uh, in most of cases, uh, sorry, in calculating this X and Y, we have not used this center of the circle. So what is the purpose of writing this center of circle here? So simple purpose is that if you want to shift this center, if you want to shift this center of circle either way from the origin, then you will be able to shift this center. Suppose uh, the center of the circle is 75. If you want to shift it along X axis, then you will simply go here and edit this and put plus sign and write 75. So simply you can see that the point has shifted towards the extreme value. You will drag it to the last value and in same manner, sorry, there is some problem I think. Let me check. I have to fix this, sorry, because uh, this center has only one value, then I will fix this and will drag down or simply double click on this point, you can see the point on the corner. So now you have, you can see that our uh, circle has shifted its center from zero. Previously it was not at zero, it, uh, sorry, the center was at zero, now it has move towards 75 because the center of circle is located at 75 meters from origin. Now if you want to move it in the opposite direction, I mean you want to move it from along y axis but not along the x axis, then you will reverse this section and now simply come here and add the value in y axis. If you want it along positive then you will add and if you want to it, move it from uh, towards negative y, mean uh, if you want to move this axis along x axis in this direction, you will add center. If you want to move along y, y axis in this direction, then you will add this center in the y coordinates. And you will fix the value and will put sign plus sign. So we can see here that by doing this, the center has shifted from this origin 
to a distance of 75 meter up till here right this position the center of this circle uh, you can see this as a circle by dragging or by collapsing this side so this has become a proper circle so have you got these things now if we want to uh, let's undo this step here yeah. we have got this position of this circle or center of the circle as origin this zero zero point and we want to move it towards negative x-axis then what will we do then so simply we will <coughs> we will simply subtract the value of center from x-axis and the axis has shifted towards negative x-axis because we can see here the negative values and similarly if you want to shift this axis towards negative y then you will simply subtract this center value center of circle from sorry and by fixing it from the y coordinates so by moving it you can see here the center of circle is some but somewhere here so it is minus 75 meters from y axis in downward direction so this video is about drawing the circle or semicircle so this was about the whole circle if you want to draw a semicircle then simply what will you do you will only move your cursor till 180 degrees because in half or semicircle there are only 180 degrees so till here so simply what will you do we will go you can see here the cell this is 46 number so you will simply go here select data click on this whole circle when this becomes blue you will press edit and here you can see 42 you will simply sorry I have made a mistake so you can see here 42 we will write it as 46 and in the same way here we will write it as 46 so you can see here the full circle has shifted to a semicircle if i press this one and elongate this one somewhat like this so it will be a semicircle so similarly if you want to move this uh, move at center along x positive x positive y negative x and negative y you will follow the same rules of adding some, uh, center in this one if you move if you want to move along x axis and you will add this center into y uh, coordinates if you want to move along this one and if you want to move along both then you can add this center to both values there is uh, no problem so simply if we want to move along uh, move the center of circle uh, suppose we want to move center of circle for 30 meters along x axis and so let us move the center of circle uh, this semicircle at 30 meter from x axis and 40 meter from y axis so you can write 30 and 40 by hand so you have, we can see that semicircle has shifted itself to a central point whose coordinates are 30 and it is 30 meters from x axis and it is 40 meter from y axis thank you very much if you like my videos uh, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and recommend my videos to your friends so that they can also get an idea that how they can draw a circle or semicircle in excel sheets thank you very much take care allah Hafiz.